يقبل من العمل ما بتغي به وجهه الكريم وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله فاللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وصحبه والتابعين أما بعد فأوصيكم عباد الله ونفسي بتقوى الله قال سبحانه وقدموا لأنفسكم واتقوا الله وعلموا أنكم ملاقوه وبشر المؤمنين أيها المؤمنون قال الله سبحانه وتعالى وما أمروا إلا ليعبدوا الله مخلصين له الدين وقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم إن الله لا يقبل من العمل إلا ما كان له خالصا وبتغي به وجهه All praises are due to Allah, the Lord of, the, of all the worlds, who accepts from his slaves deeds that are intended sincerely for his sake. I testify that there is not, nothing worthy of worship except Allah, the uniquely one, who has no partners in his oneness. And I testify that our master, our prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the servant of Allah and his messenger. O oh Allah, send your peace and blessings upon him and upon his noble family and whomsoever follows him in his guidance until the last day. To continue, I advise you, dear brothers and myself, with the taqwa of Allah. For verily Allah says, وَقَدِّمُوا لِأَنفُسِكُمْ وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ And fear Allah and know that you will meet him. أَنَّكُمْ مُلَاقُوهُ That you will meet him. وَبَشِّرِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And give good tidings to the believers. O believers, Allah says, وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُوا اللَّهَ مُخْلِصِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ And they were not commanded except to worship Allah, being sincere to Him in their religion. And the Prophet ﷺ said, إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَقْبَلُ مِنَ الْعَامِلِ إِلَّا مَا كَانَ لَهُ خَالِصًا وَبُتُغِيَ بِهِ وَجْهُ Allah does not accept any deed except that which is purely for Him, and seeking his countenance. <coughs> so deeds are accepted by Allah. Those that are accepted by Allah are, are done purely for the sake of Allah, seeking his acceptance and reward alone, wherein there is no desire from anyone besides. This pertains to all types of worship and dealings and all affairs. As Allah says, قُلْ إِنَّ صَلَاتِي وَنُسُكِي وَمَحْيَايَ وَمَّاتِي لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Say indeed my prayer, my rights of sacrifice, my living and my dying are for Allah, for Allah, Lord of all the worlds. My dying and living, my rights of sacrifice, my prayer is for Allah, means for the sake of Allah. It's, it is just for Allah, not for anything else besides Him. Not to... Not, not to have anything, anything from this world besides, besides Allah says, Allah's sake. So when the Muslims orientates himself to the Qibla to pray, he should intend with his prayer the countenance of his Lord. As Allah says, وَلِلَّهِ الْمَشْرِقُ وَالْمَغْرِبُ فَأَيْنَمَا تُوَلُّوا فَثَمَّ وَجْهُ اللَّهِ And to Allah belongs the East and the West. So wherever you might turn, there is countenance of Allah. There is pleasure of Allah. And when the Muslim pays his zakah, the charity, then when he gives from his wealth, he intends nothing except the countenance of his Lord. That is pleasure of his Lord. As Allah says, وَمَا آتَيْتُم مِّن زَكَاةٍ تُرِيدُونَ وَجْهَ اللَّهِ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُضْعِفُونَ But what you give in zakah, the charity, desiring the countenance of Allah, those are the multipliers. In other words, they are the ones who have their reward multiplied as Allah increases their reward commensurate to their sincerity. It is not to, to, to have anything else beside giving for, for the sake of Allah. If you, if you give to increase in your wealth, to have uh, interest on your money, then it doesn't going to be benefiting you in the afterlife except that that those charities which are given for Allah's pleasure and Allah's countenance. As the Prophet ﷺ said, إِنَّكَ لَن تُنْفِقُ نَفَقَةً تَبْتَغِي بِهَا وَجْهَ اللَّهِ إِلَّا أُجِرْتَ عَلَيْهَا You will be rewarded for whatever you spend for Allah's sake, not for 
the sake of this world, not for anything else desiring from this world. In this manner is the affair of the believer. Whatever good he does, he does for the sake of Allah. He does so that they can be from about whom Allah says, This is also narrated in several narrations that the Prophet Wasallam's beloved daughter, Sayyidah Fatima al-Zahra, and, and, and uh, Sayyidina Ali, wa Sayyidina Imam Hassan wa Hussein, they all were fasting. And when someone knocked at the door, asking when the time of iftar came, and they had just limited amount of food, each one with one khubz. And they were fasting, they were about to do iftar, and someone knocked at the door asking that, I'm, I'm, I'm hungry, please feed me. The next day they fasted, someone came and knocked at the door uh, saying that I was a prisoner, I don't have anything to eat, can you feed me? They fed them. Third day, someone came and knocked at the door and asked the same and they, f- they fed them. Three days, the fast was just one khubz each and they all contributed their food. They have nothing left for them. So at that time, Allah says, Innama, uh, w- what they replied when the, when, the, when the taker, when the recipient of the food who, who was being fed by them, he was saying, Sh- shukran, he was thanking, he was being grateful towards them. They said, Innama nut'imukum li wajillah. We fed you only for the countenance, only for the pleasure of Allah. We wish not from you, la nurid minkum. We wish not from you anything. Jaza'an wala shukura as a reward or gratitude. In this manner was the righteous people. In this manner was Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq. He used to, uh, may Allah be pleased with him, he used to do much good for people seeking the countenance of Allah. It was in regard to him that the verse was revealed which stated, الَّذِي يُؤْتِي مَا لَهُ يَتَزَكَّى وَمَا لِيَحَدٍ عِنْدَهُ مِنْ نِعْمَةٍ تُجْزَى إِلَّا بُتِغَاءَ وَجْهِ رَبِّهِ الْأَعْلَى وَلَسَوْفَ يَرْضَى He who gives from his wealth to purify himself and not giving for anyone who has done him a favor to be rewarded, but only seeking the countenance of his Lord Most High, and he is going to be satisfied. The most deserving of people of goodness are the family of a person and his relatives. So Muslims should strive to preserve the bonds and show goodly relations to them, doing all manners of good to them purely for Allah's sake. As Allah says, فَآتِ ذَا الْقُرْبَ حَقَّهُ وَالْمِسْكِينَ وَابْنَ السَّبِيلِ ذَلِكَ خَيْرٌ لِلَّذِينَ يُرِيدُونَ وَجْهَ اللَّهِ So give the relative his right as well as the needy and the traveler. So when it comes to giving, first Allah counts, give to your relative. Give the relative his right. If you are giving a charity, your charity has a right first to your relatives who are in need. Then those after your kin, after your family, whoever is in need, and the traveler, that is the best for those who desire the countenance of Allah, and it is they who will be successful. O Allah, make us from those who perform deeds purely, utter for your noble countenance, so we can be of those who are, and uh, who are successful. And I say this: I, I seek forgiveness for myself and for you. So seek forgiveness. Indeed, Allah is the most forgiving. Most merciful, أقول قول هذا أستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفر الله إن الله هو الغفور الرحيم ورب غفور حليم. الحمد لله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبع هديه. أوشيكم عباد الله ونفسي بتقوى الله أيها المؤمنون إن من الأعمال التي مدح الله تعالى عباده عليها الصبر الصبر وكظم الغيظ ابتغاء وجه الله ابتغاء وجهه قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم ما من جرعة أعظم أجرا عند الله من جرعة غيظ كظمها عبد ابتغاء وجه الله وهكذا يبتغ المؤمن وجه الله تعالى في كل أعماله ويحافظ على قيمة الإيمانية ويتمسك بأسمى معاني الإنسانية فيعيش في سعادة ورضاء 
ويفوز في الآخرة بما عده الله لعباده المخلصين في جنات النعيم All praises are due to Allah, the uniquely one, and may peace and blessings be upon our leader, our master, our prophet, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and upon all of his noble family and companions. I advise you, dear brothers and myself, with the taqwa of Allah, O believers indeed, from the deeds that Allah has praised his slaves, his patience, and the ability to control anger from, for the sake of Allah. The Prophet wasallam said, there is nothing that is swallowed greater with Allah in reward than a slave of Allah who swallows and contains his rancor out of desire for the pleasure of Allah. So this is how the believing Muslim is, preserving his faith, holding forth to what a human being really entails. So they live their lives in seeking the pleasure of Allah and full of contentment. They live in contentment in this life and in the hereafter in a life of perpetual bliss in paradise. And with this we ask you Allah that you send your prayers and blessings upon all of the prophets and messengers and especially on the seal of the messengers and the prophets. Uh, our master Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his noble family and your peace and blessings be upon his companions, all of them. هذا وصلوا وسلموا على نبينا محمد كما أمرنا ربه سبحانه وتعالى إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ورد الله عن الخلفاء الراشدين ساداتنا أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعن سائر الصحابة الأكرمين والتابعين وتابع التابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين واخذوا للكفرة والمبتدعة والمشركين اللهم شتت شمل أعداء الدين ومز جمعهم يا مبيد الظالمين وزلزل الأرض من تحت أقدامهم يا ذا الجلال والإكرام اللهم ارحم على أمة الإسلامية اللهم احفظهم من إخوانهم من المسلمين وإخوانهم من 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 ذي القربة واحفظهم من جميع الأعداء والحسان وأعداء الدين اللهم حرر المسجد الأقصى فلسطين من أيدي الصهائنة وأعداء الإسلام يا ذا الجلال والإكرام اللهم حرر المسجد الأقصى فلسطين اللهم حرر المسجد الأقصى فلسطين اللهم انصر المسلمين في فلسطين وخاصة في غزة اللهم انصرهم واحفظهم واحفظ أولادهم وبيوتهم وأموالهم ونساؤهم وجميع الذين ذوي الحقوق عليهم اللهم احفظهم كلهم اللهم احفظ وانصر المسلمين في جميع بلاد الأرض اللهم انصر المسلمين ولا تنصر علينا اللهم انصرنا على من بغى علينا وعلى من ثأرنا وعلى من أعدانا اللهم لا تجعل مصيبتنا في ديننا ولا تجعل الدنيا أكبر همنا ولا مبلغ علمنا ولا تسلط علينا بذنوبنا من لا خافك ولا أرحمنا يا رب العالمين اللهم ارحم المسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم الأموات اللهم يا سميع الدعاء ارفع عنا البلاء والوباء وادفع عنا كل البلاء وعافنا من كل داء وامن على جميع المرضى بالشفاء واحفظ أسرنا ومجتمعنا وادم العاف علينا وعلى سكان العالم في حولنا اللهم اسقنا الغيث ولا تجعلنا من القانتين اللهم غثنا اللهم غثنا اللهم غثنا اللهم اسقنا غيثا مغيثا بفضلك وكرمك يا أكرم الأكرمين يا رب العالمين عباد الله اذكر الله العظيم اذكركم ادعوه على نعمه يزدكم ما يستجب لكم ولا ذكر الله تعالى أعلى وأولى عز وجل وهم وتم وأكبر أقيم الصلاة